there we go. Uh, that, that came from yesterday. So as you see here on the agenda, we have the restart the conversation about the dates and times and the conversation about the after town hall yesterday. Um, I, I think just due to the level of interest, let's start with the second one first. Um, because it sounds like there was some juicy conversations yesterday and some really good insights from the community. Um, and so maybe what we'll do is we'll start by going to those that hosted the rooms and um, having maybe you could say what room you were in um, and then give a high level overview of kind of some of the key findings or, or discussion points. Does that sound okay for everyone? Okay, so let, let's just go in order. I think there were three rooms and they were numbered one, two, and three. Uh, so if someone was from room one, um, maybe you could come on and start. And um, Tommy, correct me if I miss anything. Uh, um, room one was about Catalyst Soccer objectives. We had around 50 people in the conversation, which lasted three hours. It's an amazing <laughs> conversation. What I was mainly really surprised is that there was a very positive feedback on the Catalyst Circle, actually. I expected, to be honest, much more pushback or critical voices or whatnot. The most of the inputs have been very productive, very, let's say, positive in regard to the Catalyst Circle. Some main points which have been really interesting was once, it was several times mentioned that Catalyst Circle should have a liaison somehow to CI to the CIP process. That I was definitely really to say, hey, even if it's not a decision making body, a sensor array makes definitely a lot of sense. It's definitely something what wants to be seen as well. And the last really important point what I kept in my mind was also the draft to yes, the sub circles. How can the circle itself become really much more the facilitator and supporter of community projects initiatives which come together to work on important stuff and the circle as a service provider which helps them to move forward to establish to build their formats whatever might be needed there and this for me have been the main points it was an amazing discussion and the last point what is really important is there was definitely the desire and the wish to have this as a recurring thing. We had the feedback from several people in the call that I said, hey, this is the coolest town hall we ever had. What is also very remarkable to keep in mind. I said something like to have this once a month or something would be very desired, would be very welcome. And yeah, and Tommy and me said yesterday already then in the call, okay, we will definitely present this as well. Try to push forward and really enabling this setting up a format where the community has regularly the possibility to speak to the circle and to tell them hey that's actually what you should be that's actually what you should do so amazing experience from my side and really beautiful to see that the conversation is going back there where it belongs to to the community and that the people feel very very motivated to join those discussions and conversation and if i miss something tommy please go for it well i was mostly moderating the chat and that was the most fun chat I've ever been part of. And it was like bouncing between like really important topics and a lot of humor. <laughs> like there was talk about democracy and how democracy is an illusion and how that's never gonna work and blah, blah, it's never worked. And then some, someone said that we need to have an emperor and then it moved into Charles's lobster being the emperor. And then I asked whether it should be emperor without clothes and the lobster doesn't have clothes so that that was crowned as the emperor so yeah that's pretty much the line of thinking in the chat yes yeah, sp spirals quickly that one <laughs> but that sounds exciting you know and like you said uh, felix it, it's very good to have the support and you know even after some of the chaos that has been to see that this is really a desire uh, of the community to keep on going um, so maybe before we move to room two, does anyone want to have to have any questions about what happened in room one or, or any comments on what Felix or Tony said? Well, I have a question. Did we figure out what is the objective of the circle? Because that was the topic. <laughs> not, not really one objective, but uh, let me find the link as well. Uh, Tivo, he set up a MyRobot as well, which we documented the whole discussion as well. But objective, 
S1, so the objective, no, didn't came up. There have been a bunch of suggestions on, oh, okay, which could be some effective objectives. But yeah, that's now our job, right? To figure them out, identify them, cluster them, categorize them, go back to the community, ask, hey, is it actually this what you meant? And mm -hmm. like this then moving step by step forward. But yeah, reading between the lines, I think the feedback was that we should avoid any jargon like human sensor arrays and we should just tell it what it is <laughs> and especially like this positive feedback and, and neutral feedback i think it came from the fact that many people didn't even know what circle is to, or that circle exists and there was many people who had joined within the past few months and they had never really paid attention to circle Harris, please yeah, uh, you know, certainly uh, there's a lot of value in that discussion, uh, right? And I think part of the purpose of, of casting this wide net and getting the word out about all this is that we would be able to collect a whole set of data and that data would help us drive decision. Um, so I don't know if we have a means of organizing all these great inputs, um, you know, trapping that and certainly taking notes is great. Uh, the polis is, is going to be helpful. Right. Um, but at some point we need to sort of look at the picture and sort of say, okay, there's a trend going this way, trend going that way. Um, so how, how might we approach sort of uh, getting us into something that is uh, data driven would be my just uh, question. Yeah, that, that's a, gr a great question. I think uh, we need to have, you know, all the, everything together under the same uh, rubric so we could actually compare and, and contrast and come up with ideas. Uh, Quasar? I may, I may be jumping the gun here, but I'm wondering if yesterday's uh, meeting and, and the, the inputs and the participation, did that come close to legitimizing the circle as we've spoke of in other meetings? You know, is that, was that proof that you know, the circle is legit place that people are looking to for information and feedback and even perhaps some guidance <clears throat> so maybe that'll be answered through the next uh the next two uh, uh, uh when we talk about the next two rooms yeah from room one the overall impression was that yes something like this is needed okay okay so there's value already coming through um okay so any other comments for room one before we get a synopsis and Debrief of room two, Felix. Up to what Harris mentioned, uh, was also mentioned yesterday, yeah, definitely the lack of the tools, which we need to really have it data driven and not only our key people who speak in conversations. It's just so ex extremely difficult to extract data from, from this. And there we said, yeah, okay. Like usually we don't have the tools yet. We try to use what we have now. And one direction was, uh, it was mentioned already a month ago from uh, Natya, uh, DWOC. So set up a platform there, playing around with some community suggestions and especially for project management, when then teams come together and want to engage in a specific topic, which then could be coordinated from the circle reps. But additional to this, yeah, especially like, yeah, polis, DWOC, Google Docs, whatnot. But yeah, we need to develop tools, I think, at the end. Yeah, tool, tools and training so everyone can use them exactly. appropriately and consistently. And a last point again, what was mentioned from Kaiser that many people don't even know about Catalyst Circle, but it's a very valid point and a really important point. What was beautiful to see in yesterday's discussion that people learned about Catalyst by participating in the conversation. So people joined in the very beginning, had fucking no clue what Catalyst Circle is. After an hour, then started really great feedback because through the conversation they got educated and bombarded to the catalyst circle and then have been able to really participate greatly in, in the conversation as well so yeah. even as an educational format i think this calls this town hall formats are very effective in this regard mm -hmm. and re reduces that that burden you know that drinking from the fire hose burden of joining catalyst in cardano <laughs> that we've all experienced so so oh. one, one, one more thing just to wrap it up. Uh, so they said that uh, for the subcircles or like smaller groups, whoever get together around some topic, uh, they should have almost like epoch to epoch uh, meetings. But for this like public conversations, it would be enough to have them once a month. Yeah. 
So it was basically suggested by the community that let's have this kind of extensive circle town hall every fourth town hall. Okay. Now, now maybe we'll, sorry, Harris, I don't mean to put you on the spot as the IOG rep, but is that something that uh, would be easily, do you think we could easily implement something like that, given the desire of the community to want to have that sort of access to the circle? Uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely, there's a lot of town halls where there's a lot of content we want to get through. Um, I love the idea of showcasing sort of the projects that are coming through um, to the rest of the, of the community. And so that's definitely time intensive, um, you know, for sure. I, I certainly support trying to bring it in and, and, you know, as long as there aren't other conflicting, you know, things that we need to kind of cover as we enter voting phases and, and these kinds of things where we want to make sure that there's good communication to ensure uh, people participating. Um, yeah, I, I, so I, I don't know if it's rigidly every fourth town hall, but certainly we can accommodate more sessions like this because I think, yeah, I agree. It was amazing to have, have those uh, extended discussions. Um, I mean, we do after town halls every single week, right? Um, so I don't know if it's just shifting the focus or just allowing more time. But yeah, certainly I think a lot of the after town halls do tend to go two, three hours anyway. Um, so yeah, we just have to decide what the agenda is and what we look to accomplish. I think that yeah, we can make the time. Just to make sure the you point, know. sorry, just to make sure the point came across. So the wish was to make the prioritized problems or the common issues more visible what they are, what has been sensed, what has been done to them, and what, how could the community help? And this could be used in that five minutes that Circle has in every town hall, but then once a month, month have like topical discussions of one, two, or three big common problems that we want to solve. Yeah, no, that's good. I, I think what would, it sounds like would need to happen is some sort of written down this idea and what format it would take so then we can all agree on, on what it might look like and then that's something that could be presented uh to the iog team about uh, that that runs the town hall so then we're not just you know ideas all over the place but we have more of a plan that we can roll out and try mm -hmm. uh okay you got tommy, peter thanks uh, tommy uh, i agree that we take the leader for setting up the document we can build it already on the document which we drafted for this version yesterday, but to build up on this and introducing the format. Um, which document? Yeah, setting up a document, just what we said, right? That the community maybe would like to see this as a recurring event, as a recurring format, but somebody has to write it down that we both go for it. Yeah, also afterwards I heard like people were messaging me and there was one point that uh, if we take the GPS approach, then Catalyst Circle should be helping in that objective setting. So some, some of these things should become like objectives that are out there for longer than challenges. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's an easy win to change the format though. And like Kara said, there's after town halls that can be used. We still have the platform to show that, uh, you know, to express maybe, you know, adapting that to some of the more problems and less the, just the high overview of what's been done. And then, you know, having that additional discussion once it's agreed to of how to align uh, the GPS stuff on, on an off call. Uh, Harris. I just, I just want to inject real quick, oh, Harris. Sure. It, you know, one of the things that I really sensed about what, what made yesterday such a positive experience was that there wasn't a choice, right? Circle was the topic. And this is what we were all collectively going to think about. And, you know, when you contrast that with the way, the way uh, breakout rooms have gone in the past is there, you know, it's not like people are crying or anything, but people make complaints. I don't know how to choose which breakout room to go to. And, and I know for myself, I have the same issue. You know, there's, there's usually three that I would like to sit in on. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's, you know, to say that the community is collectively going to focus actually brings together some, some energy to a, to a tighter, band and i i do think that's a good thing to do on a regular basis yeah yeah and and you know we'll, we'll let harris get in but just imagining that you know you could also have standalone events or standalone circle focused 
community events, right? So it doesn't necessarily have to be the town halls, but go, go Harris, please. Yeah, I was just gonna suggest that, I mean, we do have placeholders for, you know, each of the circle reps to say things every single week. And, and it's very often that uh, there's no content, right? And, and you know, folk, you know, and tell me, I know you're relatively uh, new to this. And so the, 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 the focus that we can take uh, is point people to whatever board we want to use to prioritize those problems. And if we just, you know, get out of the presentation and go right to the board where a community can have discussion and continue to see what those problems are and why we're talking about these things um, and bring that to town hall, that, that might be a, a nice approach because you know, we pull it up during these circle meetings, but not everyone's watching these and we get more traction potentially in those meetings. So, you know, addressing here's the hot issues and and certainly some members you know have stepped up and are highlighting those problems and communicating those in town hall uh, which i think is valuable um you know for sure but you know maybe there's more we can do uh, to try and highlight those prioritized problems in in town hall itself mm -hmm. yeah definitely some solutions there um, that i think like you're saying are very easily easy to implement you know and don't need a proposal and that could just maybe be a shift and so uh, it's too bad Peter signed off as the town hall <laughs> slide uh, guy, but hopefully he'll he'll watch with us. And maybe we could, you know, even pilot that in the next couple weeks. People could look at that. So if that's something that uh, people are interested in, then uh, maybe we could follow up on that. Okay, perfect. So I, I just want to be respectful of time. We have about an hour left, but again, these conversations I suspect will get continue to get deep. And so maybe we'll move to room two. Um, so whoever was hosting room two or participating in room two, sorry, I wasn't there, so I'm not exactly sure who it was, uh, but maybe you could come online and share the thoughts. Two of us, Kenwick, with support from Zoe. Oh, okay. Thanks, so Thanks Felix. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Felix. I forgot what room I was in. <laughs> so we had uh, about, uh, as you know, I was scribing for for Kenrick, so I didn't really speak during the meeting. I, I put some comments in chat, and maybe and after we were finished recording, we talked a little bit. But uh, during the meeting, we had about fourteen people, and but they were pretty engaged. The community, they 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 spoke up, they asked questions, and so they were really really engaged into the conversation so um kendrick he uh, showed some of his spreadsheets which he may have you may have seen before um, basically he demonstrated like three different methods of of uh, funding the circle one would be the proposal method which we've seen already how that works um, the other he put up a spreadsheet showing uh, how you could ask each candidate for a specific role to put a, 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 a span of salary that they would be willing to work for, you know, like between 20K and 40K, and then the next person might be 10K and 30K. And then when the election came, the first person who was elected had the most votes would have the option of kind of like deciding, okay, would he be, would be willing to work for somewhere within that span? And then it would roll down. If he says, no, I'm not going to work for that. Or if his top was too high, he had a, he had a method of going to the second person if, if the guy at the top was too high. So um, he kind of went through that, explained that to the group that that would be one method of, of determining um, how the rate would be made. Uh, the third method was negotiating, uh, again, going out to the world and figuring out what these type of skill sets that you're going to require in the circle would pay in the commercial world, and then come back and actually negotiate with people who are elected into to be in that position. And if you can't negotiate with the top person, you go to the second person that was got the second most of votes and you negotiate there. So some of the conversations that came back was again, you know, uh, how many hours, you know, how many hours you have to really work. Uh, 
Is it 10 hours? Is it 20 hours? Is it more than that? Is it a full-time position, part-time position? Is Are we going to just let anybody sit in there with regardless of their skill sets? Um, or are we gonna look for people that have certain skills to represent certain roles? And if so, are we gonna be competitive enough in salary or in whatever we offer you, what do you wanna call it, reward salary, whatever? Uh, are we gonna be competitive enough that we can actually attract them away from their full-time jobs? So that was kind of the gist of everything. It was, it was a good conversation. I think Henrik did a great job presenting it and, and the people seemed to really be engaged in it. And so that's about it. And how many people were in that room, Joey, about approximately? There was, there was 14 people. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so any, any thoughts or comments, initial thoughts or comments to, uh, to Joey? I know that uh, compensation has been uh, a, st a stickler of an issue and, you know, and continues to rear its head. And so maybe do people have thoughts on what Joey just said or, or ideas on the compensation within the circle writ large? I think this is a pretty okay. solid idea, really. Um, but I think uh, we need to be relying on voting isn't really a very good option for us um, because we've seen how that kind of plays out. So I think if we can figure out a way or a, a method similar to this or even this exactly, uh, this is a, definitely a great starting point, then we, um, we're actually in a place where we can have reps and they get paid for their work. And that's kind of a guarantee rather than it being up in the air at the minute, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Harris? Yeah, I think as we're sort of taking a fresh look at uh, the whole circle and how it operates, um, you know, I think it's important to understand, okay, what, you know, how are we redesigning this? What is it that the circle reps will do? How many people are involved in a seat? Is it, you know, 10 people in a subcircle? And, you know, you know is there a million dollars that's going to be available to pay those 10 people? Um, you know, how, how is that going to be divided? Um, so again, we look at the amount of work. Is it 10 hours? Is it, is it 50 hours? Like how much is it? Um, in terms of the commitment that's that's required, uh, and based on that, then you know numbers could be I think generated um, in terms of what's what's reasonable. Um, it is it is an important issue. Certainly, we want incentives uh, for sure, uh, in in you know the right capacity, depending on what the role is and and actually how much work is involved. So, as we're looking at the structure of the circle. Um, you know, the, I think we need to decide, okay, what, is, what are we asking folks to do? Um, you know, what are these roles? And then what is uh, the time commitment? And then, and then, and only then I think, can we figure out um, some type of incentive? Yeah, and so I guess this kind of goes back to room one and potentially what, what we're hearing in room three again is defining those roles and responsibilities and the expectation from the community and you know again if they are going to be out and doing extra work and it requires full time then perhaps it does become not you know you know full time in the classic sense but becomes a like reset an expected delivery you know things to measure against to show that you're delivering you know and then we set up those structures as a circle so perhaps that's another additional conversation uh joey yeah i was gonna say if it's a million dollars i'm running for circle four so put me put me in you gotta share that with 10 people though <laughs> so af afterwards there were some of the conversations i had with kendrick individually about the time because again we all know that we started out with one one two hour meeting and anytime you have a meeting you have to prepare for that meeting. So that's at least another hour. And then it went to a meeting every week. So that's additional time. Plus the the priority board, uh, well, plus the time in the beginning spent with your mentors, which Felix and, and all were kind enough to spend time with me. So you got to have those meeting times and preparation and then time afterwards to collect your thoughts. And then the priority boards, all that, 
are, I mean, those are projects. I mean, you got to somehow spend time on those. You can't, it's, it, so the time just keeps accumulating. And the more you want, the better job you want to do, the more time you're spending. So it, for me, it's, the time has just become overwhelming too. So I have to kind of like accept that I can only do a certain quality job that I would not do otherwise. So I just want to throw that out there. Yeah, I think that's a very good point for retaining talent and the type of talent pool that we're, you know, hoping to, to pull from is like you're saying, Joey, is that if you want to live up to your work ethic where you are, you know, delivering and really driving, you know, it's not a part-time thing often. And so what does that represent um, for paying circle members? But again, how do you also guarantee that you're going to get that sort of delivery if you're paying the money from each of them? And so those types of checks and balances would need to be in place uh, as well. Um, other thoughts, it's, so I am taking notes on, the, on this side as well. So now that Peter's come, but uh, other thoughts on the remuneration or tell me yet? A couple of points, the geographic reach, like should we have one circle or should we have five of them or seven or whatnot? And then another one is that in a circle, I think it would be very good to have two representatives per seat kind of. Uh, maybe one can be more hands-on and the other one more hands-off, but uh, that responsibility for one person per seat might be too much. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. And, you know, kind of have that support as well. Uh, Steve? Yeah, I have a problem sometimes when I hear about paying one person one amount and another person a different amount. And that's kind of the same role, you know, like I... I'm just, um, you know, I understand some parts of the world you don't need as much to live, but, you know, I, I, for me, it's contradictory to the idea of what we're doing. I mean, we're creating our own economy within the Cardano community, and I think everybody should be valued equally, you know, particularly when they're serving the same roles. And, and, I, and there's, you know, it's not just, you know, kind of Western uh, 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 bias because it's more expensive to live in these countries you know like I've, I've noticed it with with some of the asian communities that they feel like they should not get as much money because it's not you know they don't need it you know and that's it's not the point right you know the point is you're the service to the community and the economy that exists in this community and i think if we can if we can do that convey that communicate that well everybody will be comfortable with whatever's paid but you know we should pay but it should not be you know parsed you know in terms of like well where do you live you know what do you really need you know that's not the fucking point you know yeah it's the role not that the gets point. funded not the not the where exactly. the person lives right so I, exactly. I think that's a really good point as well uh joe you had your hand up and put it down was that you said what you wanted to say uh, yeah, that that was also part of the conversation about the different uh, parts of the world people come from and if the compensation would be based on U.S. numbers versus, you know, conversion rates or whatever. So um, just throw that out there. And I, I don't plan on running for Circle 4. <laughs> if it was a $1 million, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we won't go there yet. We're not, we're not there yet. So let's get some basic <laughs> principles uh okay so that was room two does anyone have some final comments on remuneration for room two from room two yeah one, one question for me it was what not really clear. what was that the idea of direct comparison between funding the circuit from proposals or from a parameter change sorry can you say that one more time Felix? If there was a direct uh, discussion with the community to compare Catalyst Circle re um, rewards by proposals in Project Catalyst or via parameter change. So I think this was the topic what we discussed a lot. If there would be an alternative way, what would, would be this way? And the first idea was, okay, parameter change where we say, okay, Catalyst Circle members could be rewarded from the same packet where PAs, VPAs, refers voters. From, from, was there any discussions around this? Uh, <laughs> I, 
I can't remember right off the top of my head. I do think that Kendrick may have touched on that, but it wasn't any long conversation. And um, so. Yeah. No, so then maybe something what we have to revisit. Yeah. yeah. And I, I know we have discussed that quite a bit in this group. Um, and, you know, I'm sitting on the admin team. So maybe that's, again, more of a discussion. I, I think that. Anyway, sorry. Well, like Kaiser, go. I'll, I'll shut up for a second. So we, I mean, I, you know, I just point out that's not us, right? I mean, that's really that's like input output. I mean, they're they're still deciding the amounts per fund that are available. So, like, if we're going to change, you know, how some of the admin and circle stuff gets paid from funding round amounts, then you know, yeah, we have we have to think about how the funding amounts are even determined in the first place. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's going to change soon. <laughs> How and why? Please expand. Yeah, I, I mean, the whole idea is to, to have the decisions on the fundamentals happen outside of IOG. Um, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Quasar, um, comment on room two? Yeah, room two. You basically had. Um, one thing to cover, funding of proposals um, uh, from idea scale or a parameter change. And it appears that you didn't even talk about that. Um, I'd like to say good job because in room three, uh, we were talking about voting or how to vote. And I'm not quite sure that we were able to uh, keep our conversation on that topic as well. So that's it. Um, it really is hard to have these conversations and stay on track. With that, I'd like to say that um, one of the things that I've seen happen is uh, talk about the circle not being funded or not being approved uh, to receive the compensation, but it was approved in the voting. The budget just wasn't there. So for me, there's a, there's a big difference there, and it's, it's worth kind of correcting that narrative or making sure that well, we understand the difference between being approved versus you know, uh, meeting the budget to receive the compensation through Catalyst uh, as, it, as it is today. Yeah, that, that's a good point. And I, I think when we when we had the funding decision or the results, we, we discussed that and we, we were very clear that, you know, we were not uh, disproven by or, or disallowed by the community. In fact, it, it was successfully uh, voted through. It just was not funded. And so I think that is an important point. Now, I, I would like, you know, again, I, I think as a group, it's, we've been talking about it for a while about is it a parameter change or is it uh, you know through the proposals now I think what needs to happen is we need to put something down on paper either you know we do an options analysis we do pros and cons of both um, is there anyone here that would like to champion that because again there's you know this is these are the workers right here to to do these types of putting things on paper and, and ideating um, now, I just am afraid that we're going to go in circles, you know, yes, it's a good idea. Yes, we need to do it. So now we need somebody to say, okay, I will put the first pen to paper and then we'll have it. We have Tommy and Felix doing the proposal for IOG about perhaps having a, a monthly or, you know, every six weeks town hall specifically focused on circle. So does somebody want to step up and take this for the parameter change versus uh, proposals and you know even start with the pros cons so we can start having that conversation but grounded in in options rather than kind of esoteric well i don't think you should have this as a separate thing from all the other roles and responsibilities i think the structure should follow the strategy and since we don't have a strategy yet maybe we should start with that and then part of the structure is roles and responsibilities and part of that is compensation. So it should be for this and for all the other incentives and rewards and whatnot. And it would be really cool if one day there was a standard way of saying that, okay, this is a junior role, it gets this much, this is a senior role, it gets this much, this is an expert role, it gets this much and that's it. Yeah, so I, I don't think we're even there yet. I just want to put a pin, like that's a very good point, but we're not there yet. What we need to start with is, okay, we have two options that we're discussing right now. Here's the strengths of option one, here's the strengths of option two. Then that needs to be a discussion about which one, pros and cons of each, documented, written down, that then can be shared broadly to say, okay, you know, here's an idea that we have for funding the circle, for making it more sustainable. And then that becomes the community discussion 
but we can't have a community discussion without somebody taking the lead from this group to put it on paper to start that process. So well, I, I was kind at, of least, at least at least I have heard like a million times from different people in the community saying that yes, circle should be there and it should be funded from the budget so that it doesn't rely on the fund. Yeah. And, but so that's that's good and these anecdotes are very valuable but what we need is a format and a process by which we can move through this so again it's it's not conversations trying to stay away from good like you know just the idea i want to see we need to see pen to paper and an actual focused discussion because we've now been around this loop many many times and, and we haven't progressed the chains on that so i'm, I'm not going to belabor it right now uh, joey has his hand up yeah if it's okay um let me volunteer myself and, and I'm gonna to try to volunteer Kendrick because he seems to be very interested in this topic and maybe we can get together and and put something on paper. Perfect, thank you, Joey, that, that would be great. And I think that's, you know, just to get to where we wanna go and even starting having that conversation, I think that would be really valuable. Uh, Harris? Yeah, so we definitely are looking to imp implement a concept of some type of referendum type voting um where we can just ask ask the community vote <laughs> and and that, that's where we get their opinion so let's send it out for a vote yeah right? exactly and that's kind of what i've seen once we have once the circle kind of agrees or you guys come to a consensus as here's potential options not for the circle to decide it's actually it's out to the community which one makes more sense and then that can or you know which one is more desired rather and then that one can be put to the community. Once the vote comes in, then you know you discuss, okay, what does implementation look like? And that becomes a bit of a different discussion, but it's still working and moving those chains each time. So we're not back at the, yes, it's a good idea, but how do we do that? So I think with Joey taking the lead on that one, uh, that, that would be good. And of course, we'll put this as action items um, and then we'll, have, uh, we'll follow up. Uh, before the next meeting just to see if there's been any progress and realizing that it may not happen, uh, will not happen uh, overnight. Um, so we'll definitely make sure to build in a little bit of time, but uh, getting that work rolling, I think is something that we we struggled with so far. And so I, I, I encourage us to, to continue down that path. Um, okay, so knowing that, thank you, Joey, for taking that on. Let's go to room three. Uh, and room three, again, I apologize I was not there. So if there's a person who is leading uh, room three, uh, please feel free to uh, jump on. Um, I'm not sure if that was you, Harris, uh, were in that room or? Yeah, I, I was in there with Quasar. Um, Quasar, did you, did you want to jump in first or you want to support? Well, for, for room three, we were... <clears throat> Talking about voting for the circle, whether it be IDISCL, the current seats that were part of the circle, additional seats, additional structures. Um, you know, Harris, I don't, I don't know what your take was from from the circle or from that breakout room, but I don't feel like we spoke enough about the voting or or how the voting should go down. Um, so. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I don't feel like we were able to really touch on that very well. What, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so I, I kind of went into the discussion with sort of an open mind to listen, um, to sort of hear from the community uh, on on the topic. You know, I think we did try to steer folks back into the, the topic at hand um, a couple times, but, you know, definitely some great viewpoints. Um, yeah, there, there's still some you know, good ideas, you know, I think we can synthesize sort of what a structure should become and then carry that forward. But, you know, I think we want to get opinions from from the community, the, the poll, uh, I think may help with some of that. Um, you know, we presented a couple of different options. I, I agree there was not any specific, you know, outcome is like, hey, look, we should go this way. And I, I agree with you, JP, that um, probably having something on paper and structured is like, okay, here are the options. One, two, three. What does everyone think? Um, that that may lend itself into uh, driving towards, you know, the pros and cons and, and, and those kinds of things, but uh, may help drive towards a direction um, for sure. So I think that would be would be helpful. Um, 
you know, we have a lot of you know, direction in terms of going in towards subcircles, which definitely folks seem to agree with. Um, there, there was a really interesting idea from Phil uh, related to a proposal to uh, not only have one circle, so a circle that may align with sort of the existing uh, structure and direction that we already have, and then uh, maybe a more wild idea of a, a radical change and, and sort of running these as a dual experiment, uh, just to sort of see the pros and cons uh, of each. Um, it, there was definitely some feedback of, of taking a step back and maybe going back to the original state and the original purpose of the circle uh, as another potential direction. Um, there was some feedback that we received. Um, you know, so there's you know, definitely some outcome about you know, the, these are the options that we presented, but it was, you know, mostly going in to listen uh, to, to feedback around this various topic, uh, you know, this specific topic of, of voting. Uh, and, you know, it, there wasn't really any clear message, you know, so trying to drive toward the question of like, okay, if we have a single seat, we could vote, uh, we could use idea scale for that purpose, but it was unclear uh, as we left the meeting, are we able to, do we even need to vote, right, for certain seats, right? So if, you know, the, the PAs already have a great ecosystem and great community already, they can just sort of self-select from that role and someone could show up to the circle, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to be a general vote. So that, you know, that was pitched, but it was not necessarily clear, uh, which direction to kind of go. And so I think we're in this information gathering, right? And ideally we can focus that data, focus the what we've heard, bring that into sort of future discussion and that might help focus uh, some of the direction where we're going. So I, I entered this pretty, pretty open. I do feel we weren't very prepared, you know, for this. I know there was certainly some some talk about what we wanted to, to do and then, you know, Sharing the, the poll was sort of sort of a, a direction. We had some uh, a really nice document, and I commend the folks that were involved to prepare that document because that really helped to to lead us into that discussion. Um, I think as a circle, we probably could have deliberated a little more with that. Um, it was a lot of last minute kind of things, and so I think we can maybe prepare a little better. Um, but that document was very helpful. So thank you, uh, the team, whoever put that together, because that really helped to inform that discussion for that room. Um, so I'm you know, definitely grateful to have the discussion, really great discourse, uh, great ideas uh, that were kind of brought about, but uh, not necessarily something where we can walk away as like, here's a clear outcome. Um, so I think we can take this data and you know, forge it into uh, some type of document that we can bring and present to the community for a little more direction uh, and presentation. Yeah, to, to that end, as, as I was kind of hammering on Joel here on the last point, I wonder if again, like more of an options analysis, taking the, the discussion from yesterday, parsing it out into those options that were discussed as, you know, the critiques or, or um, improvements for them. And then having that, you know, in this kind of, like you said, one, two, three, and then we can kind of go from there if that would be a good, a good start. To one point, what Harris mentioned that it was very rushed. I agree because the first time we discussed that idea one month ago, and then we discussed it again two weeks ago, and nothing happened. And it was in the last moment just that I said, Hey, what the fuck is going on? People, please come on. We decided on this please just remember the last thing what i do for example each meeting i rewatch, and i just make some notes for myself to say ah, okay what did we actually said and then i know for myself ah okay hey we speak about one month already about making stone happening that it's then the case that in the last hour we have to figure out who is the host and whatnot and then coming suggests ah maybe these are the wrong topics great you have one month already. Why do you bring this in the last minute? That's really not that much the way to go. 
would really maybe see a little bit more responsibility from the rep from the reps as well. So as you engage, it's not showing up to the meetings. The most important stuff, what happens between those meetings, right? Just maybe everybody just make sure to check once. You don't have to post anything, but make sure to post to check once a day the Slack channel. Make a note for yourself, a note, a, a, just a book note, something on important documents which are shared. There. Make sure you are stay you stay tuned because mostly the documents which we share they get drafted over time frame. It's not done in ten minutes. So we know, how, okay, there's this one week, two weeks where we gather the insights from everybody on the document. Take this time, please. And everybody's very welcome and very invited. But we definitely should also think about, hey, having a little bit more coordination between us and not forgetting each time, like a fly, what we discussed two weeks ago. Then we're just running in circuits. Yeah, and I think that's a good point. That's kind of why I've been <clears throat> harping today a bit on, on writing things down and getting something tangible that we, we can discuss because it is easy to forget, you know, between the meetings, you finish, you're tired, and then it's like, okay, what? So, uh, Joey, please. Yeah, I'm so thankful Felix put all this stuff together because uh, I definitely hit the panic mode there yesterday. And thanks for everyone to responding back. <laughs> And you're an amazing crisis manager, Joey. I love your style, even when you know everybody's stressed. The style, how you communicate, and everything. Really appreciate it a lot. Uh, yeah, and so I think again, like like you said, we have we kind of have these three big buckets. We kind of have some uh, some actions that need to be followed up, and some activities that need to be uh, completed. And so perhaps uh, if if maybe we could ask people that they think within the next two weeks um, that kind of having those draft documents together would be feasible um, to then maybe we could come back to the next circle meeting and present it uh, to your colleagues as to kind of the, the high level output. Again, like I, I'm not dictating here. These are just suggestions. So please feel free to say, oh, I like this format more or something else. And maybe we could just have that discussion for how to move these uh, forward within the next two weeks. Well, I'm going to be on vacation, plus I need to talk to Kendrick, so uh, I can't commit to that, but I'll, when I talk to him, we'll certainly uh, try. Uh, one thing I might suggest, you know, as a follow up as we're sort of going through this process with the community um, is just, you know, instead of necessarily each of the seats presenting anything specific, but let's address these three three categories of things and then have an update actually in town hall that says hey here's room one two three outcome here's suggestions in a formatted way um you know i don't know if that's next town hall or if that's the town hall after that or you know but bring it to town hall as a response to what we heard uh, but again you know I, I i think we're still collecting data and information and so um you know maybe there's other ideas that are beyond just what we put down on the slide to, to go into the, the room. Yeah, I think a retrospective to back to the community is very valuable. And, and you know, you, we did that town hall, we did the efforts, it's now we got to relay back what we heard. And so synthesizing um, the outcomes uh, of each of those rooms might make it, uh, you know, might uh, lend itself very, uh, very well to having those types of um, info sharing with the community and then perhaps having some sort of follow-up activity to get, to gather more information um, on those alone or additional um, ideas that are not included. Um, and so maybe what that looks like and how that fits into the town hall, again, I think is something for this group to decide. But uh, it, again, it sounds like a great opportunity that we don't want to let pass by. So, uh, tell me. If it's already next week, do we have enough time to collect those points from the other town halls from Africa and Latam and whatnot? I would suspect for the next town hall, it's probably a little fast, especially with uh, Joey going away. I think Felix is going on vacation. Um, so, so maybe it could be a couple of weeks, but again, I think that's for you guys to decide here is that, you know, is, is it too fast? Do you need two weeks, three weeks, four weeks? What, what is a, a appropriate cadence uh, for the group, Joey? Yeah, I think, um, I don't know if anyone's looked at the poll results, but probably uh, 
I don't, and how long the poll is going to be out there available for people, but uh, we probably should include the results of that in our conversation at some point. Yeah, it, it looks like there's not new statements added. There's like 20 of them. Yeah, so maybe sharing that a little more broadly again and trying to get some more uh, feedback from, so maybe we could use existing networks and then if people have other ideas for how, how to uh, get it out. And I don't know, again, here's sort of on spot. I don't know if IOG would uh, be able to support that in getting that to the broader community, either through the announcements channel or, or whatever, but that's something to, to think about. So no other hands up for that. So we have about 20 minutes left. Oh, okay, close that. Yeah, I'd like to see if we can include something along the lines of the three rooms and the polls in, in the town hall next week, whether it includes the other town halls or not. But we've got a, some momentum and some interest going. So anything that we can do to keep that a little bit fresh on the community's mind will help. And maybe we can send that poll to Danny and have him include it in, in the Friday uh, uh, roundup or insights that he usually shares. Okay, so Quasar, can we task you with uh, helping lead that initiative then? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. So we will, um, unless again, <laughs> it's not me just dictating. So if there's any objections to, to people doing maybe a preliminary uh, overview uh, of what was found um, at the last town hall, Joey, realizing you're away, but uh, I think um, Quasar could follow up with Kenrick about, uh, you know, kind of the outcomes. And it, I, at this point, keeping it high level to, you know, the, the key points of what we heard, just like we did here today, and then creating more spaces to get into the specifics for each of the components with the community to, to get their feedback, but more targeted rather than the open-ended questions that it sounds like yesterday was focused on. Tony? I'm good. Oh, no, Tommy has his hand up. You might be on mute. Tommy. Sorry, my assistant is screaming in my ear. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Um, so what is our deadline of having everything ready for CCV4? Well, right now, the, there isn't technically a deadline. Be after Fund 9, so ready for the very beginning of Fund 10. Yeah, I, I mean, it would be good to get this accelerated to do it but you know we certainly can can uh do it uh, as a special election possibly depending on the format that we want to use um so uh yeah it's kind of up to us to, to drive when we want to have something available yeah and perhaps I, I guess the way the way that i was thinking about it is that if if we do this uh, response back to the community of what we heard, and then you'll have each of the categories of which one is voting, and we'll say, these are the options that were discussed. You would have the pros and cons, and then we could say, okay, for CCV4, which one do we want to try? You know, and then you can, and then the community decides which one they want to try that, you know, the circle works out the, the details of, of how to implement it, you know, again, with the sub circles and, and through discussion. And then in for the next one, that gets, implemented to see if it works. Um, again, that's just my very nascent thoughts, but uh, perhaps an approach like that could do both, that we're, we're keeping the momentum, we're talking targeted, and we're moving, um, and we're experimenting um, going forward. So perhaps that's uh, an option. So it, it sounds like we have some good uh, deliverables here. Um, if we have Quasar is going to lead the uh, collection of, and uh, reporting back to the community for next week. Felix and Tommy will draft the uh, request to IOG to, or the pro plan, proposal, whatever we want to call it, about potentially having a standing circle focused town hall at some sort of regular cadence uh, that fits in. Um, and then we will have Joey and Kenrick are going to work together to do an options analysis um, of funding the circle either through proposals or a parameter change. We still have an outstanding on the voting and doing the synthesis of the voting uh, discussion that went yesterday. Um, and so that 
will be valuable as well, um, as we just said, to, for CCV4, but also to continue moving the yardsticks. So I'm not sure if uh, Reese or Steve want to support uh, Harris um, as he was the lead in that room um, of getting the information and kind of helping to synthesize it. Again, I'm not tasking you. These are just said uh, friendly, open requests. I'm, I'm, at, I'm happy to help. So okay. if uh, you want to tie up, I'll get in contact with Harris uh, through Slack or something and we can, we can figure it out. Perfect. Um, Harris, again, I'm, I don't mean to task you or put you on the spot there, but as kind of the person who was in just sharing that information uh, to, to help, I think will be important. Uh, yeah, I mean, I certainly don't mind uh, jumping in. I just want to make sure I know what I'm signing up for. What did you suggest again? Yeah, no. So, so just like the other ones is that we hosted the room. There were some great ideas and we had the big questions. Just kind of uh, hemming it down a little bit to, okay, well, what were the main takeaways? What were kind of the major concerns? And then putting some, some potential options um, you know, again, and I think you've thought through most of them. Do we use idea scale? Do we have sub circles vote, you know, and then send their rep, just kind of having those laid out. So then when we go back to the community, it's like, okay, hey, this is what we discussed as the options. Are there any we can remove, you know, and then that's what the community discussion becomes about rather than that open ended question about, okay, well, what could it look like? It's here's what we heard. Would one of these be, you know, open to experiment going forward? Yeah, I know um, Quasar mentioned in the chat, it may, may help to synthesize some of the outcome of room three anyway. Perfect. So, um, so if recent Quasar can help with that too. You know, Harris, the portion that I, when I was in your breakout room, the portion that really stuck in my head that, that I would hope you could find out about is that idea of, you know, if we were to do, if we were to vote on, on, you know, like, this issue or one of these issues that we're talking about that that there could be an idea scale vote that was one person one vote right but it wasn't determined on ADA power you know when it comes to this in infrastructure issues that we're talking about because I, I thought that was a really critical question to think about um yeah no i actually had a brief discussion about it and Right now, it's certainly easier to apply one A to one vote. Um, I think there's other concerns that open up um, in terms of the, sure. the style of how we track it, because then it's one wallet, one vote. Um, it's certainly not one person, one vote. Um, and so we need to be cognizant of, of the trade-offs for that. So but somebody somebody mentioned one one idea scale registration one vote, right? So you know looking at it that way made it easier. And I, I thought that was an interesting thought. Because that yeah. keeps that keeps people from outside gaming us, you know, kind of at least not so obvious. There's also some PAs who have two, three accounts on idea scale. Yeah. 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 So there's, there's gaming sort of across the board. Um, yeah, so, so anyway, the, the, the easy approach is um, to, to keep it consistent to what we do today. Um, you know, we would have to address other ones, but just to give you some quick feedback, I, you know, I did raise the question um, of how we might do that. Not to say that we can't change the functionality of how it works, it just may take time. Yeah, and I, I think this is why it's important that if we get it down on paper, then we can actually have those discussions about the pros and cons of each option in a very grounded, you know, uh, tracked, you know, and, and kind of reach some consensus. Okay, this, this solution A doesn't work for X, Y, Z reasons, you know, and then and it becomes, again, one thing to reiterate is that perfect is the enemy of the good. We're never going to find a perfect solution without going through some you know, some really hard and tough decisions. And so we should focus now on moving an inch, not 10 miles, right? And then if we move an inch, then we move another inch and eventually we'll get there. And so let's focus on doing something that works and something that helps move it a bit. Um, and, and then we reassess. Uh, Tommy? I'm not so much uh, concerned of gaming the system as I am about the turnout for voting so if we have like 10 people deciding it's not 
really legit. But if we have thousand people participating, then it's legit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's a good point. That goes into the pros and cons of each of the systems. You know, like keeping it the way it is. Then we face that. Opening it to idea scale has its own problems of you know potential. Um, things that we're, we're not even thinking about. And so I think that's what we really need to uh, kind of wrap our heads around as, as a collective. So Joey, we'll give you the last word on this one. And we only have 10 minutes left and we have one more item. Um, so, so we'll jump. Uh, yeah, just yeah. a quick question. How many people were in room three? 23. In room three? 23. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I it was as high as 30 at one point, but I'm not, I don't recall. So that's actually a pretty good turnout for these meetings because I think in the beginning when I looked, when Danny was doing the main town hall, there was about a, what, a, a little bit over 100, and, 100 or so, maybe 120 or 30. That's a pretty good turnout. Yeah, so a good sticking around. And again, like another thing to discuss is what other venues um, can we maximize and capitalize on? Right, like, is it only the town halls and, and geographic ones too, or is there, you know, other events that could be help support uh, some of these discussions? Um, so maybe I'll give just one last final word uh, on room three. If anybody has any burning thing to say before we move on, if there's fifty-two thousand people registered on Idea Scale, maybe half of them should vote. Yeah. So, so again, the threshold for legitimacy, I think that's, a, we'll put a pin in that as well, because that is a community discussion on what drives legitimacy. And it might change for each of the different rooms, right? We may not need full agreement on every single issue. And so that's something to discuss. Felix? Last point to let things see. Normally, everybody from you received the email from Alexander Massa. All about legitimacy and all. I forwarded all the emails from SOC webs. And normally, uh, yeah, there's some nice thoughts as well where you could go through, pose some really nice questions yeah. and asking Perfect. everybody to, to answer. Perfect. Thanks, Felix. Uh, okay, so the last, the other item that we have here is there was discussion before about changing these circle meetings. I know that there's an IOG meeting uh, seemingly at this time, Chris had mentioned. Um, so it might make it hard for him as, as he becomes the main rep to uh, the main IOG rep uh, becomes difficult to to attend. And so there was a discussion on changing the meeting time. Um, as we know, this is a very cumbersome experience <laughs> or process trying to change the meeting time. But perhaps what I can uh, commit to do is putting together a poll, a doodle poll for everybody, and then people could just select um, ones that we could see which works. I Doing it by committee here, I, I don't think it's a good use of all of our time. Um, or Joey, if you wanted to do that again, not, not tasking, but I'll, I'll open it there. I'll stop talking and see what people think. So Joey. Yeah, I, I dropped a, a link there for um, a tool that they used over on DWORK for the United, the Catalyst United. So maybe if, if you could uh, use that, that it seemed to work pretty good for them. Or take can a look we, at it anyway. Can you redrop that link? I didn't see it in the chat. Harris? Yeah, I, I, it may be, may be easier for us in IO to just reschedule ours since we can see each other's calendars. Um, so I, I you know, certainly open to not trying to do a, a move of this meeting, um, assuming this time still works for everyone. Um, you know, so again, I, I think we may be able to to readjust the meeting time on IO side. So it may not be necessary to move this. Uh, I'll just throw it out there. Yeah. So I, I guess does anybody else here cannot make this meeting time work and would need a different time? Like maybe that's a good place. Uh, Crazy. I could make this meeting time work, but I'm wondering if it wouldn't be more beneficial for the group to move it to a Tuesday um, before the uh, before the town hall or even a Monday. Mm -hmm. I think before town hall is beneficial because, as we said in the last time, um, it puts us back a week every time we try and bring something to the community. And so that delay costs us a lot of time over the course of three months. So Tuesday I'm up for Tuesday. Suck. <laughs> so again I, I think the problem is is that it's almost impossible to find the ideal time 
um, for everybody. I do agree, Reese. you bring up a very good point and Quasar that uh, having it before the town hall is likely good to get your thoughts together to then present to the town hall um, as a unified group from the meeting, unified quote unquote, um, but at least rowing in the same direction. So uh, Harris. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. I, th I think we made an attempt to try to, to move it before town hall in the last round, but uh, maybe doing uh, using the tools to try to accommodate maybe a different time slot um, Monday or Tuesday would be ideal. It is certainly very busy um, uh, on my schedule most of the most Mondays and Tuesdays, but uh, I can certainly try to uh, prioritize that because I think it would be important. Certainly would allow us to get more organized kind of going into town halls and really make more effective use of, of that slot that we have. Um, so that, that would be a good reason for us to reconsider a time. Okay, so so I'll still commit to doing the, the poll then. I will use the tool that Joey uh, just provided and I will draft it on Mondays and Tuesdays with a ample amount of time, uh, time slots, uh, two hours each. And then hopefully we can find one that suits most, if not all people. Any objections to that? Okay, perfect. So that was our consent agenda. Um, and I think we had some really good conversations today. We got some really good action items and some follow-up uh, that will be done. Um, Quasar will be coming after you guys to help organize all the information and get us ready for next week. And I will relate to Peter as well that uh, there's gonna be a slight um, shift in what's presented this week uh, or, or adapt adaptation, adaptation rather. Um, and we will, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I, I guess on that note, we'll do a roundabout roundtable checkout um, and we'll start with Joey. Yeah, I just dropped a link uh, with a, a video for uh, Dirk Hundell, who's going to be engaged, I guess, by um, our, he'd be, a, I guess, a new person in September. It's going to be engaged by uh, Charles to look over the whole environment. So uh, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, he has an dis open discussion about some of his ideas, so it's a pretty good uh, thing to watch. And I don't, I don't know if Harris has any comments about what may happen uh, in September, but uh, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, sorry not to go. Maybe we won't speculate uh, yet about what will happen in September <laughs> for now, but we'll just finish the, the round table. And then if, unless Harris has something burning that he wants to say, we'll, we'll get there. But uh, let's just in the sake of time and respecting that we've all been here for two hours, let's uh, just keep it um, focused on the checkout. So Steve, please. Uh, I'm good. I, when, I don't understand what's posted after uh, uh, these circle meetings. I know there's a video posted of the meeting, but like all these links and everything that's been shared and the meeting notes, is that all made available on, on Slack? Is that is that where I can go to look at them and refer to them? Yeah, so we do share the meeting notes after the meeting in the Slack circle, uh, circle meeting okay. channel. Um, we also post them to the GitHub. Um, and the QA DAO does the transcription and uploads the videos. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, Harris, please, your check out. Yeah, no, I definitely thought it was a good discussion today. Glad uh, I like the format. We were going through each of the rooms, um, you know, talking about the feedback. You know, definitely will be good to align to the data, what we're getting to. Um, I think it would be great to um, evaluate what's happening in the, the poll.is wiki survey for sure so i'd love to love to sort of see uh the outcome of that and get us sort of in a in a direction um thanks jp for calling us out to try to get some materials together um i think it's going to be really helpful to carry the discussion and there's several people here that have done a great job of doing that already that um you know i i can probably help step up and for sure along with others uh would be great um i'll, I'll be in the in an asian time zone next week um so you know maybe a little bit odd for me to try to pull some things together to support next 
meeting, but um, but in general, yeah. And Chris is actually on vacation, so he'll be back um, in, in not next week, but the, the following week uh, to be engaged uh, a bit more. But uh, yeah, I thought it was a great meeting in general. All right, thanks, Harris. Felix? Yeah, also really happy about everything what is happening here. Just what I would love to say also to all the circle reps which, are, which have community seats, the stuff what we say now, oh, okay, this is what we have to do through the next two weeks. It's not up to you to make this, right? Your representatives, bring this to your communities. Let them work on the stuff and you represent them what the community decide. This is also what I will make with, with Tommy for the document. It's not Tommy and me setting up this document. We'll throw it on the server. We will get community input, deck, deck, deck. So just make sure you're, you're not alone, right? You're here, you have a, we have a whole community who wants to help and they want to help, they want to build. Give them the possibilities or less reps. Yeah, but that's a great point. Uh, Quasar, please. Thank you all for the meeting. Uh, a lot of good things came out of the town hall yesterday and this call today. Um, yeah, there's a ton of people out there waiting to help and participate. So if we can kind of just get the information prepared so it is um, accessible to everyone, we can really start building things uh, quicker uh, with higher quality and with more intent and better outcomes. So a great meeting. Thank you all for letting me be part of this and, and let's keep going. Thanks, Kaiser. Uh, Tommy. First, uh, just a question. Is it so that Chris and Harris both are out next week? Uh, seemingly, but we don't have a meeting next week. It, uh, just the, it would be a working group meeting. Um, but it's not a formal that everyone must attend. So it would be in two weeks that they would. Okay. Yeah. So today was great. Um, thanks, JP, for pushing this certain sense of urgency and getting shit done attitude, because I do feel like we or Circle has wasted a lot of time previously in unnecessary things. So <laughs> it's really good that we are having this um, let's get things done mentality. And I hope that. Uh, stays for the coming months. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed of Quasar that he, he was so factual today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's because uh, uh, um, bring the hammer. Uh, no, and then Reese, please, uh, as the last check out. Yeah, uh, just thanks, guys. It's nice to catch up with you all. Um, I, I agree with what Tommy's saying. I really like the direction that we're going in and that shit's getting done. Um, well done for the uh, town halls yesterday. It sounds like there was a lot of input from the community and that's a really good sign for what we're trying to do and what we're trying to put forward. So um, all in all, very positive. All right, thanks, Reese. And Joy, you have your hand up. Yeah, thanks, JP, for what you're doing. And would you mind dropping the uh, feedback form link into the chat so that for people who haven't done that before, because I know Nori always requests us to do that. Yeah, so we do appreciate you filling out the feedback form. This helps us to, uh, um, to address uh, the reports. So all the reports for previous proposals that uh, the admin team is still uh, managing. Um, so if you could conduct that, uh, we do go over it in our admin meetings as well um, to see where we could improve it and uh, strengths and weaknesses. So yeah, you, you can go, Tony. Thanks. We're, we're done for the meeting. Thank you all. Uh, keep an eye out for the notes, and I'll be following up in Slack with action items. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Bye, guys. Thanks so Bye. much. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Cheers. Thank you.